Kyle Bradford from Chaparral Motorsports here with David from Icon Motorsports, and today we have the full lineup of Icon helmets here in front of us. David, thanks for being here. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. Today, David is the pro at Icon. He's going to walk us through some of the features and benefits that you're going to get as you progress up in the line of their helmets. Now, please keep in mind that all of the helmets here on the table are DOT and ECE rated. So whether you're paying 150 bucks for a helmet or whether you're paying $350 for a helmet, you're going to have the same basic amount of protection. Now, features and benefits are what really set these helmets apart. And I've got to say, I've been wearing the Alliance helmet for a really long time. It's extremely comfortable. I've got a long oval head, which really helps. Um, that's really the primary fit of a lot of these helmets. So let's dig into the details and take a look at what makes an Icon helmet so great. So yeah, starting off with the Alliance. This is the Alliance Dark. This thing comes with a dark smoke shield and a clear in the box. So this thing retails for 170 bucks. And like you said, very comfortable helmet. This is probably the most comfortable helmet you're gonna find in the $150 price range. So this one now retails for 170. Um, you know, like you said, it's ECE DOT certified, but so the venting on this one's not gonna be as good as some of the other ones we're gonna talk about. The interior is nice and soft, very plush. You do have chin vents, you've got some twisty vents on the sides here, and you've got a couple chimney vents on top. No brow vents, none of that stuff. So features, not as much to talk about, but again, very comfortable helmet. So moving on to the Alliance GT, this helmet is gonna have more features than just the Alliance Dark. Probably the one feature in this Alliance GT that I really like is the drop-down sun visor. So to be able to get a drop-down sun visor, an ECE rating, and a helmet with lots of venting for right around that 225 price point, it's a phenomenal deal. What else does this helmet have to offer? Yep, so that was it. This was our first foray into the drop-down shield situation. So with that, you've got a nice positive up and down, so it doesn't do any of the boingy boingy springy action, which is nice. And then. Um, we put a mirrored shield in most of them to start off with, so your drop down is an RST silver, could be an RST gold, um, you know, just to stand out a little bit. Other than that, it's pretty much the same exact helmet as the normal Alliance. So moving down the line, we now have the Armada line of helmets. Now, the Armada is definitely a step up from the Alliance. What do we have on the Armada that we're not seeing over there? So with the Armada, you've got a, a lot more ventilation. So starting with the front chin bar, you've got the chin vent, you've got slider vents on the back here. So very easy to open and close with a gloved hand. Then you've also got brow vents and chimney vents up on top here. On the back, you've got a ton of exhaust ports here. So here, 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 you've got exhaust vents all over the place on the back of this helmet. Another thing about this one is it's a four shell size helmet. So um, with the Alliance being a two shell size, the person in the double extra small is wearing the same size shell as the person in a medium. Mm -hmm. So you look at a little bobblehead action going on. With the Armada, double extra small through small is one shell, medium is its own, large is its own, and XL through 3X are another shell. So that way you've got a lot smaller helmet for mm -hmm. smaller people's heads. Um, the on and off on this one is a lot more aggressive too. So to get an on, you're gonna have to work a little bit harder. You can pull those chin straps. Um, this is the longest oval that we make. So if you have anywhere close to a round head, this is not the helmet for you. It's significantly longer than it is wide. Okay. So, you know, we're all of our helmets are kind of in the intermediate oval range, but this one is the longest oval that we do make. Um, that being said, it also gets a ton of the cool graphics. So as you can see here, the Alliance had most of, you know, kind of a simple graphic, where this is actually a reissue um, of a graphic we did 12 years ago, I believe. So this was done on the Domain Helmet, where now we release the Air Mod and Mechanica. So this one, a couple different reasons for that. A lot of people like this old graphics. Um, a lot of people are still wearing their helmet they should have replaced eight years ago. <laughs> so hopefully while putting a helmet that's $250 that they can afford with the graphic that they don't want to get rid of, will drive them to your website or into your store to buy a new helmet. That's perfect. Now please keep in mind as we move down the line that we have detailed breakdowns of all these helmets on our YouTube channel or on the product detail pages for the specific helmets. So take a look at those if you want to know the nitty gritty. Basically today, like we said, we're going through and giving you the details that are different from one helmet to the next. So moving on over to this Air Flight helmet. This was the number one helmet in our best helmets for 2018, under $250. Now that $250 helmet is going to be the Rubitone version. This here is the Chrome version. It looks really neat, especially if you put a different shield on it, such as the silver, or here we have the mirrored blue. Now what makes this helmet so unique for 2018, David? So with the Airflight, we 
wanted to do something completely different. So a lot of helmet companies are going retro. I mean, it, there's an alarming number of retro helmets it's out there nowadays. So um, we wanted to go something different. So we, the whole thing started out like, oh, what if we did a bubble shield for the future? Things got out of hand really quickly. We reeled it back <laughs> in and we started with the drop down with the shield that goes over the chin bar. So as you see, when you open it up, um, if people haven't seen your other videos, that there is still a traditional chin bar behind there. Um, you've got a very motocross inspired chin vent. This guy has a nice clicker on the back of that. So one click vents the shield, two clicks vents straight through the top half of this. And this thing pours air in like crazy. I mean, it's, it's like impressive. immediate dry mouth if you're on a, on a naked bike. So having that ventilation there, you've got some chimney vents up on the top here. This thing flows air very, very well. So one thing that you didn't mention in your other video is that the, the dual layer of exhaust or venting here. So rather than have a super vent on the exterior like we do on the Armada, we built it into the shell. So that way, if you drop your helmet, you're not going to crack your super vent and you're screwed because you can't replace it. Um, but that way, there's a layer of air that comes over the top and then there's a layer of air that goes down between your skull and the EPS. So that both cools your head off and tons of exhaust on the back here too. So. This one, um, a lot of different things, you know, as you mentioned earlier, everything is DOT ECE, so they all pass the same tests. But this one, just for guys that want to look cool and be different, for sure, that's the one thing. Second thing we did is we made the shield change a little bit easier. Um, we added the drop down shield in this one as well from the Alliance GT. So it's the same mechanism, but it's cable operated, and this one's a lot easier to see. So you can actually change these shields in and out. We have clear, dark smoke, light smoke, RST silver, RST gold, RST red, RST blue, um, all sorts of different ones. So I'm currently running this Quicksilver colorway with a clear drop down and a dark smoke exterior. So that way, when I'm out in the middle of nowhere, there's no street lights, drop the clear down. I can cruise back into the city where That's I can awesome. see and then drop the dark back so I'm in, you know, full creeper mode. But <laughs> it's a very comfortable helmet, lightweight. This one has three shell sizes, so um, double X or small through small is one, medium and large is one, and XL through 3X is another one. So with this guy, lots of cool features. You know, we darken the interior. You've got the ch uh, chin curtain that comes included on the helmet. You've got these little neoprene pockets for earplugs. You've got big speaker pockets in there. Um, if you're into the comm thing, you can definitely put a comm on here. We put the plastic edge on here just to finish it off. But if you pull the cheek pad out, you can just cut a little bit off of the, this outer exterior part here to get your clamp on and you'll be good to go there with any types of comms and anything else like that. A lot of the design inspiration was from the Airframe Pro. So the contour neck roll that, you know, that was more for avoiding speed humps and that kind of stuff. Um, Plus it just looks cool. So avoids interaction with a backpack or a ponytail or whatever you've got going on back there that you need to keep clear. So this one here, the Quicksilver, it's, we treat this color as a graphic. So we have it on the Airframe Pro and the variant as well. Um, there is no graphics, so to speak, but in order to get this, the helmet is painted black. It's painted the silver color and then they're all hand scuffed. So no two are the same. Mm -hmm. So every one of these is done by hand and no two are alike. So um, just add some cool features there. Uh, just looks a little bit different and each one is, is uh, a little bit different than the other, so. Well, thanks for the details on that. Again, this is our best helmet, number one helmet for that $250 price point. Now moving on over, we have this helmet here, which is a really neat helmet in the Icon lineup. It's extremely light and featured packed. Now what have you got here, Devin? So with the Airframe Pro, this is our top of the line helmet. This was, um, we did this to replace the old Airframe. Uh, we made it a little bit more intermediate than the old one. The old Airframe was too round. I couldn't even wear it on my head because mm. I'm a pretty long oval. So this one's a little bit in between. Um, the thing with this is there's a ton of ventilation. There's nine intake vents, seven exhaust vents. The thing pours air like crazy. So that being said, it's not our quietest helmet by any means. So this will be <laughs> definitely a little, lot louder than an Alliance, a little bit louder than an Airframe, or an Armada, excuse me. Um, so it's definitely flows air, but you're gonna pay for it with some wind noise. Uh, as far as fit, it's a four shell size, very aggressive fit too, not quite as aggressive as the Armada, but the chin, you know, if you're used to wearing a dual sport helmet or something like that, or even the air flight, it's got a nice, lots of room in the jaw area. This thing feels like it's right up in your face. So um, if you're not used to that, you're definitely gonna be a little bit freaked out. But this was just, to, you know, like, hey, we can make a high-end track helmet as well. So that's where this haul started. Um, this particular graphic definitely harkens back to the, 
the road racing superstars of the 90s. Okay. So lots of bright colors, stars, that kind of fun stuff. Um, this helmet is a fiberglass helmet, so we do this in fiberglass, um, Dyneema weave, and then we also do carbon. So you can get an Icon helmet now from $170 up to $600. So depending on how, how crazy you want to go, we've got something for everybody. And graphics, I mean, to this day, like nobody that I'm aware of does graphics as crazy as we can. I mean, we've got a bunch of artists we work with both in and out of the office to do different things. And uh, yeah, just a lot of crazy stuff. Another thing to note about the Airframe Pro is the interior. So rather than trying to figure out like, hey, can I put small cheap heads in my large, mm -hmm. this, that, and the other thing, we do a fit kit for every single size. So tighter or looser. So for me personally, I wear a medium loose. So I get a medium helmet, so I'm in the second smallest shell. And then I put the loose interior in it where it's a five piece comfort liner where um, I can, you can pull out all the pieces like this and put thinner or thicker pieces in all five places. And with one part number, you get all five pieces looser or all five pieces tighter. That's the three piece comfort liner and the cheap pads all in one spot. So definitely highly tunable and uh, a very, very nice helmet. And there you have it, Icon helmets from mild to wild. Whether you're looking for an entry-level helmet down there with the Alliance versions, you're gonna have a very protective and vented helmet. If you want more features, more creature comforts, move this direction on the scale of helmet features and functionality. Thank you, Davin, for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. You guys me. make an awesome product, and uh, we enjoy selling that product here at Chaparral Motorsports. If you have any questions or comments about any of the products we've talked about today, please leave a comment down below or give us a call at our 800 number. Our techs are more than happy to discuss any of these products with you over the phone. I'm Kyle Bradshaw, David from Icon Motorsports. Until next time, take care and ride safe.